Hello, welcome to another ramble. So today I am going to talk about um, something I came across um, online. It was titled Ancestral Mathematics. And I thought it was a fascinating chart. I, I feel like if you were to Google ancestral mathematics, you might be able to pull up the chart. But basically the breakdown of the chart was how you would need um, two parents, I wrote it down, two parents, four grandparents, eight great grandparents, 16 second great grandparents and so forth. Um, for you to be born today from um, 12 previous generations, you need a total of 4,094 ancestors over a span of 400 years. So basically 4,094 ancestors over a time span of 400 years help to energetically cultivate and culminate the person you are today, presently. And if you think about that, that's pretty, I want to say phenomenal. Like, I guess the point I, I'm getting at is coming up shortly, but basically the whole gist of this is if it took 4,094 people to create you over a span of 400 years, think about all the struggles, the battles, the difficulties, the sadness, the happiness, the love stories, and expressions of hope that you carry within you energetically from all of these people that made you you. You know what I'm saying? So I guess the point of this video is um, going to touch on moments when you are feeling away, with, especially when you're feeling like more negatively charged emotions. Um, for instance, I've been going through a, a bout of feeling very resentful and very angry. You know, all this alone time, it really, really makes you meet yourself and makes you analyze and witness a lot of the emotional energies that have been circulating in your system. Um, energies that you probably wouldn't be aware of if you were constantly moving and grooving and doing and trying to do everything else around you. Yeah, so, um, yeah, whenever negatively charged emotions show themselves, just think to yourself that it might not be yours. It might be ancestral. It, it probably, it is ancestral. You're processing you know, the energies, the unresolved energies of ancestors that have come before you. So I, I just came to the realization that that's probably what it is. I mean, obviously you have your own stuff that you've experienced firsthand, but, um, a lot of times you're also trying to process the energies of your ancestors. And that's why I think it's so important to like do the work, you know, to kind of clear yourself of these things because if not it just gets passed on and um, I think it's important to I don't know to make it easier for yourself and for others it's easy to it's easier or actually it's honestly more beneficial to do the work the inner work you know so some so just think about it like whenever you're going through a time when say you're feeling depressed or you're feeling like an overwhelming feeling of sadness or anger or resentment or hate, you know, it's probably something that um, your ancestors didn't get to process. And so you are given the responsibility to do so, you know, so instead of like, I know it's weird. It's, I don't know if you feel the same, but usually when you're in like a, a dark space emotionally like it's really hard to like one understand it two process it three eliminate it you know and um, if you were to think of think of it from a broader standpoint because a lot of times when we're trying to process this stuff we're looking at it very closely you know what I mean but if you were to kind of step back and that's why I think stepping back is important you get a broader perspective of what's happening 
And um, I received a message that, you know, a lot of the resentment and anger and irritation and hate that was coming to the surface were actually um, ancestral and it was my job to transmute it or digest it or process it or eliminate it all of the above you know because we're all constantly consuming something you know and if it hasn't properly um, assimilated in the system then it has a tendency to create a lot of issues and blockages and that shows up physically emotionally mentally phys physically emotionally mentally spiritually blocks I call them blocks energetic blocks and locks you know um, anytime you um, feel any type of pain I feel like there's most likely going to be a block somewhere in your system. Um, sometimes when you feel pain, it's also a transitory um, space where you're given the opportunity to unblock it. And of course, it's uncomfortable, you know, so it's just something that you just need to move through even though it doesn't feel well, you know. Anyways, yeah, I just wanted to make a video on that. And sometimes if you're feeling some kind of negatively charged emotion, maybe it's not yours. Maybe maybe you're processing ancestral stuff, you know? And the best way to process this stuff, well, first the step is being aware. Second is not allowing yourself to be overwhelmed and just realizing that it's not only you. It's like a culmination of the energies that made up who you are today you know and once you recognize that then you can like kind of like take time to process and make peace and release if that even makes sense anyways I'm gonna stop talking I don't know if I made sense as usual but I figured I'd put this information out there because it might be useful if you learned something cool, if you didn't, that's cool too. Blessings to one and all. Amen.